G'day guys. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I'm out in the bush today. I'm out prospecting. And um, I'm up on this uh, outcrop. It's um, quartzite and iron outcrop. And I'm just searching around, breaking rocks open. I'm looking for mineralised rocks, pyrites, stuff like that to indicate uh, the presence of gold. So that's what I'm doing today. And it's a bit windy. Probably hear that wind in the in the audio. Yeah. So anyway, that's what I'm doing today. I'm out here prospecting. I'll just show you over the side here. The escarpment. Check that out. There's my car down there. Anyway, I'm up on this um, outcrop and just looking around and I've got a couple other places I want to check out while I'm out on this property. Okay guys, I'll get back to you. This is quartzite. This is a quartzite and iron outcrop. So you've got plenty of quartzite scattered around, all the white stuff. And then you've got this brown material, which is your iron. So yeah, it's just a scattering of quartzite and iron. And uh, there's a couple of shallow dig holes up here. I'm up on top of the uh, of the outcrop there's a couple of shallow diggings I'd say where the, the old time has been scratching around but all I'm doing today I'm just looking for pyrites or anything that might uh, indicate uh, metals precious metals even gemstones jemmy rocks I'm looking for that type of thing as well Almost looks like it's a conglomerate. Yeah, cool. But I can't see anything, no, no sign of pyrites uh, in the rock at all. So I'll just keep looking. And uh, I've seen a few quartz stringer veins. Uh, if I see any decent ones, I'll take some samples. I broke open some rocks and um, looked under the jeweler's loop, but um, all I could see was some fine, fine mineral, but nothing uh, to get excited about. So I'll just keep looking. Right, this is another outcrop I'm investigating, and um, yeah, I've come across this digging. This is all granite, all up through there, it's all, it's all granite, big granite outcrop. And um, yeah, someone's uh, been digging in here. I'd say it was the old timers. There's no reason to be digging here, where I am. Um, 
the farmers wouldn't have dug here. Yeah, so uh, I might have a bit of a poke around here and maybe grab a couple of samples here because they've obviously found something of interest. And I'm going to go for a walk up the top here too and have a look around. I can see um, see some uh, some quartz veinings over here in this rock. String of veins. So there is quartz veining in this granite. Yeah. Anyway, I'll have a bit of a look around, see what I can find. Okay, I found a piece of um, like quartzite type rock and I broke it open and you can see the mineralization there, that black, that black material there, that's uh, fine pyrites. So I'll keep this rock, it's all mineralized and I'll take it home and crush it and see if we get anything in it. I'll, I'll look for some more rock similar. Okay, we've got more diggings here. They've dug a bit of a hole here, just a shallow hole. And across here, some shallow diggings. And then directly below us, down there, is that, that big hole that they've dug out. Yeah, so... I'll go back down there with a bit with a deep hole is they've obviously found something there I've been looking I um, I sampled a few rocks a few pieces of quartz up here and just fine very fine um, pyrites minerals in the rocks very fine though anyway I got a couple of um, samples so we'll go back down to the hole down below and see if I can find out what the old boys were looking for. Okay, just up above the old timers workings in the granite wall or the outcrop, there's a string of vein. This little string of vein here and it runs down towards the hole. So what I've done, I've broken a piece out. Oh, a little bit for a sample. You look in there, you see all that black you can see some black material in there. That's that's mineral. There's a piece of that that quartz vein there. Um, yeah, it's got mineral in it. So what I'll do, I'll take a sample and I'll take it home and um, crush it and pan it and see if there's anything in it. Okay, there's my sample that I've taken, and I even put in. Some of this red, red rusty coloured dirt that's uh, in the bottom of the hole here, I'll put that in there as well. Okay, we'll move on to another spot. Okay, I'm back at an old dig site. Um, I believe this was dug by the old timers. Big piles of dirt there, here. Big pile of dirt there. And there's some shallow diggings down in here, just little shallow holes. Another shallow digging just here. A pile of material there. Now this material, this orangey coloured dirt, it's um, decompo uh, decomposed granite. It's broken down granite over millions of years. And there's a hill up there and it's all broken down and washed down. And it's come down to here. And these old guys have been digging here. I've taken samples from this area in, um, to go back in my previous videos. You'll see I've been here before. I took samples and I got, when I panned out the samples I took, I got gold, fine gold, and a lot of fine copper. Anyway, going downhill, just over here. There's another digging here. That's the dirt. There's the hole. 
just here. So what I'm doing this time, because I've already sampled up there at the, at the diggings, I've come down slope further. There's a granite. Um, oh, I suppose not really an outcrop. I suppose you call it an outcrop. Anyway, there's granite here with a lot of string of veins, quartz string of veins. A lot of string of veins going through the granite. There's some big ones here. I should. I think I have sampled this before, and I didn't. There was nothing in it. Yeah. You can see up here where I've broken some out. I've broken pieces out all along here, uh, and I. I crushed it and panned it, but there was nothing in it. Anyway, so what I've done, I've come down here and I've dug a hole here and I've hit bedrock. So I've gone down there, I've hit bedrock, which is which is the granite, granite bedrock. There's my overburden from the top. And this is the material here, just out from the hole. That little pile there, that's off the bedrock. So I'm going to put that into a bag. And I'm going to take that home and pan it out. And if you look here, there's another structure here. Broken up granite structure. Yeah, all here. So that's why I dug here. Because I'm in between. you got that granite structure there. Then you've got nothing. Then you've got this granite structure popping up out of the ground. So what I've done... I've dug my hole just here. Hit the granite, and and I'll, I'm going to dig. Uh, I'll dig three holes. I'll take. I'll dig three holes in a line down to the granite, and um, yeah, take some samples. Check these ants out. That's an ant's nest, and look, they've made their own freeway. Check this out. Come up to another nest there's another ants nest and then you've got that road there i don't know it probably goes to perth and then you've got another freeway going up here going up to the granites yeah amazing okay there's a granite outcrop just here and i've dug a hole here a sample and then over here there's no granite here um, but I've just taken a sample anyway you got your granite here and it's directly down from it I've dug a hole and uh, took a sample off the granite I think that's the granite there ex exposed to the surface and then over here I took a third sample there, and there's that outcrop. So I'm in between that outcrop, that outcrop, and the outcrops over here as well. And up the top there is where the diggings are, where the old boys had a bit of a bit of a hunt um, yeah and like I said I got up the top there I um, tested their their, um, their waste pile and I got traces of copper and fine copper and fine gold anyway guys that'll do me for now I'll um, head off home and then I'll uh, pan out these samples and see if we got anything Okay, this is the material from the vein that I broke out in that uh, granite outcrop. So I'm going to run that through the crusher, crush it up, and then I'll pan it and see if there's anything in it.
Okay, here's that material that I just crushed up, the uh, quartz vein. So we'll just power it out and see what we get. Yeah, that was a fairly big hole that the old times dug there, so they must have, must have found something there for them to... Um, dig that that's uh, such a big hole and they broke out a lot of rock anyway this um, what we get in this in this pan might shed some light onto what they were doing little bit so I'm in the shade there I hope you guys can see well there's not going to be any big pieces of gold if there's anything I can see it looks like a shard of metal there looks like that might be off the crusher yeah. anyway I can see a few shards of metal that's about it nothing to report there guys so I'll get those other samples out um, that I took from those test holes and we'll pan those out okay um, that uh, that rock that I crushed up and panned out I just took it up what was left in there I saw a few specks of gold so I took it up to the uh, to the house and I put it under the microscope and I counted six specks of gold so there is gold in that uh, in that quartz anyway now you see that that's sample one this is that uh, material that I dug near the granite outcrops yeah the, the last samples I took so this is sample one so I'm going to pan that out not really expecting to be much in this but I'm, I'm expecting uh, maybe some fine copper it'd be good to get a bit of gold out of it if there is any gold in it but I want to know if that copper and gold has traveled from from up the top right down to those granite outcrops where I, where I took these samples very um this materials very sort of loamy loamy type material a few rocks they're um yeah pieces of quartz and that mixed in There. Okay, let's see what we've got here. I might just bring this out here a bit in the sun so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, let's have a look. Doesn't look like anything. I'll have a look under me, me jewelers. Mm. 
Yeah, doesn't look like anything there, guys. I'll get back to you with the next sample. Sample number two. And there was nothing in sample number one. I'm just going to break break up all this loamy material the best I can. It sort of um, congeals like clay. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. This is all fun anyway, um, getting out there and looking around and yeah, so because I've I've got a bit of gold out of that um, that quartz vein that I, I took um, where the old timers have dug that hole, that tells me it's worth further investigation. So I'll have to go out there again another time and um, maybe dig down in the hole, where, in that hole, dig down and see if the vein um, is still in that hole and I can maybe sample that because they must have found something there to because um, that looks like it's been blasted it looks like the old boys have actually blasted that rock that's why it's shed everywhere See what we got here. I don't think there'll be anything there. No, I can't see anything. No, can't see anything, guys. No big pieces of gold. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll just have a look under my jeweler's loop, and then I'll get back to this with the next sample. Sample number three, and there was nothing in sample number two. See what we've got in here, guys. Probably the same as the last two. Can't see anything there.
Can't see anything there, guys. I'll get back to you at the wrap up. Well, that's it, guys. That's it for another um, another outing, another prospect from Biggest Kev. Yeah, um, nothing in in those last three bags that I that I panned out. Uh, not a not a thing. No copper, no gold. Um, that uh, quartz vein that I crushed up. That had gold in it. I didn't see any any copper. Just oh, about half a dozen pieces of gold. I saw through the um, well. I saw the actual specs with the jeweler's loot. Then when I put it under the microscope, yeah, it showed up more pieces. As a rule, they're only super fine bits. But it's it's gold and it's in that vein. So maybe the old boys dug that big pit because they were onto it and obviously there wasn't enough there so um, they moved on but um, but it, it's worthwhile me going back and having a, a better look and take some more samples for sure hey check out this big lump of gold how's that for a big nugget Maybe I can give this away to one of my subscribers. It's not real gold, you probably already know. It's, um, yeah, it's fool's gold. It's pyrites, iron pyrites. Yeah, but uh, that's a nice big chunk of rock. Maybe I can cut it and make some uh, pendants or cabochons out of it. Yeah. Anyway. Um, that's it guys that's it that's it for this one uh, nothing else to tell you I've got um, no mail as yet uh, I'm waiting on I'm waiting on some mail but uh, hopefully it might it might get here today um, yeah other than that stay safe be good thank you for subscribing to my channel and for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one. I might go back to Hit and Miss Creek, I think. Maybe on the next one. Yeah. Okay, guys. Bye for now. Well, I'm back. You wouldn't believe it. Just went out the front. And the parcel, or the postie, just rocked up. With a parcel. It's a parcel of rocks. Um, yeah, so I thought I'll add this one, add this onto the video. Yeah, just to show you guys. And it's um, it's a parcel of rocks, and it's from Ned, Ned the Gruber. I'll put his name up here. Ned the Gruber. He's a good bloke, Ned. It's from New South Wales in Australia. He does a lot of prospecting, um, a lot of river sniping and panning and sluicing, uh, all that sort of thing. And Ned was kind enough to send me some rocks because I sent Ned some guitar picks Ned sent me some rocks. Cheers, Ned. So, you guys, if you if you've got any rocks lying around and um, and you're not sure about cutting and polishing them, uh, just send them my way. I'll I'll do all the work for you, and I'll send them back to you. Okay. Ned's written me a letter. He has written it. He's written me a big letter, an essay. I haven't written anything like that since I was at school. Okay, g'day Kev. Here is a piece of ore from the Norseman project, copper mine, 
at M Mount Isaac, Queensland. It has calcopyrite pyrite in it. Hope you can make something out of it of interest. Keep as much as you like of it. I would like maybe some pieces in return. No worries, Ned. Also, I sent you a, a channel t-shirt. Oh, mate. <laughs> and some stickers. I sent you one of my stickers, Ned. Um, yeah. Thanks, mate. Keep up the good work. Cheers, Ned. Thank you, Ned. Um, yeah, I, I appreciate this this stuff, guys. It's it's um it's awesome. But yeah, it's I sort of started started this little thing off. Now it's getting bigger, but um that's all right. That's good. Hey, Ned, I'll send your rags back to you next next post, mate. <laughs> Look at the rags. It, actually, my car is due for an oil change. I might use them for that. Cheers, mate. Rightio, here we are. Oh, there's, there's, oh, mate. That's a big monker of a rock, too. Where's my dagger? There it is. That's a huge piece of rock. see the pyrites in it there yeah cool uh oh and it's got like that it's like banded ironstone it's got the red and the black mate that's a nice piece of rock i hope you can see that guys you can just up the top of here you can see all that all that um cocoa pyrite which is copper it's copper sulfide A copper, um, copper pyrite. Yeah, that's the um, that's the uh, not the sulphide. Oh, I forgot the name of it now. But basically, that's the um, the mineral, the copper mineral, before it turns into a into a copper metal. Yeah, very nice. I like that red. I like all that red with the black. I'll be able to slice this up. I'll make a few um, cabochons and that out of it. And uh, obviously I've got to send some back to Ned. But I'll, I'll make a few out of it. And um, I'll, I'll, I'll send some out to my subscribers. You guys. Yeah. That's what I'll do. If you want some of this rock, guys, get on board. I'll have a competition or something and um i'll just pick some of you guys out and i'll just send you off a yeah a cabochon once it's made uh finished off you'll probably see on the side there where ned's cut it you can see the red the red and the black and there's going to be um pyrites through it it'll look really nice yeah now ned sent me a t-shirt and some stickers mate I hope you sent me a big one a big shirt for me <laughs> extra large oh I don't know Ned I'm a big bloke like you that uh, should fit me nice very good and on the back cool Hope you can see that, guys, there. Gruber Ned Jardine, Gold Hunter. Yeah, so if you're not on this channel, guys, get on. He's also sent me some stickers. Oh, he sent me a whole heap of them. There we are, guys. Gruber Ned Jardine, Gold Hunter. Cool. He sent me a few of them, so... Yeah. I might even send some out to you guys 
when when I send you out some some of my creations and that I might chuck in one of Ned's um, stickers as well as my stickers and uh, yeah cool it all it all goes around yeah um, yeah thank you very much Ned mate I appreciate it I'll get right onto that rock I've just about got Mr Gold's rocks finished and I'll be sending them off to Mr Gold uh, prospecting 101 so I'll be sending off some stuff to him um, I've been a bit a bit lazy and um, I've had that much on that much work on yeah so I've got to get Mr Gold's gear out of the way and send off to him and then I'll get onto this rock and I'll start slabbing it um, I might even do a video of, of cutting this up into big pieces and polishing it yeah anyway thanks guys thanks Ned cheers ah. there he is excellent nice 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 stickers Ned beauties okay guys Rightio, that's that's it real this time that's it okay stay safe be good and i'll catch us on the next one bye